Hello, let's look at the number system that we use regularly in our lifestyle. Suppose I say 10,000 rupees or 12,500 rupees or a lakh of rupees. Now these are all what? These are numbers. But the base used in these numbers is 10, which is the decimal system. We normally use the decimal system in our day-to-day -day work. But there are a lot of more other number systems which are there in the system. Let's look at binary number system, the number system which is used by computers. They don't know what is 9, they only know zeros and ones. So there are number systems with the base 2, there is a base 3, 8 and in some cases there is also a base something called hexadecimal base which is nothing but the 10 digits that we use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 and the letters A, B, C, D, E, F. So there are 10 digits and 6 letters that makes it 16 and hence it is called the hexadecimal system. Let's take an example, how is it represented? In the decimal system we know, okay, we use any digit from 0, 1, 2, up to 9. What happens in a binary system? We use 0, 1. What happens in a tertiary system or the system with base 3? There is the digit 0, 1, 2. But let's take examples here. The first example says 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 on a base of 8. Now here, all the numbers, digits are 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 and the base is 8. So it's a correct system. But let's look at the next example, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 on a base of 2. Now this is wrong. Why? The base system 2 recognizes only 2 digits. Here we are already using 3 digits. So that is not possible. What do we understand out of it? In a base system, whatever is the base, the number of digits being used there should be equal to the base. Also, the highest digit being used should be 1 less than the base. Suppose the base is 3, then the digits used can be 0, 1 and 2. So this is how the base system works. Let's understand it deeply. Let's say a number 98765 on the base of 10. How do we write it? We write 9 into 10 to the power 4 plus 8 into 10 to the power 3 plus 7 into 10 to the power 2 plus 6 into 10 to the power 1 and 5 into 10 to the power 0. Now suppose we have another base. How do we use it? Let's take the second number that we just explained, 76543 on a base of 8. So 7, okay, let's, let's work it other way around, 3, <coughs> that's the first digit. So 3 multiplied by 8 to the power 0, 4 multiplied by 8 to the power 1, 5 multiplied by 8 to the power 2 and so on. So you see that counting from left, the first is to the power 0 and there onwards the power increases by 1, every step. So this is how we write a normal number into a base system. Let's take the binary also. There is a number called 101010. So the first digit which is 0 technically does not have value. So let's take the second digit. The second digit will have 2 to the power 1 into 1. Then the third digit again does not have a value. So fourth digit again 1 into 2 to the power 3. And similarly 1 into 2 to the power 5. So this makes up the binary system. Let's see how we can convert a simple number in a decimal system to another base. Let's take a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and convert it into a base of 8. How do we do it? So let's go to the division method. So we make a division table. We write 8 as the divisor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the dividend and we try to divide it. We find that the biggest number which can divide 8 and leave minimum remainder is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 is the largest multiple of 8 which goes and the quotient here becomes 1, 4, 5, 3 and the remainder is 1. So how do we write it? We write 1, 4, 5, 3 in the next row so that then it becomes the dividend and the remainder goes on top which is 1. Now let's try and dividing 1, 4, 5, 3 by 8. So the biggest number again becomes 1, 5, 3, 6 and the quotients become 192. The remainder which is 7 goes on top. So now we see that this way we have finally arrived at 3 being the remainder which cannot be further divided. Right. So the number on top is 17003. How do we write it? We don't write it as 17003. We write it in the reverse order. 30071 on a base of 8. Now this is the number on a base of 8 which is equal to 12345 on a base of 10. Let's try converting the same number into another base of 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9 becomes the divisor. So let's try doing now. 1, 2, 3, 3, 9 becomes the highest number which is less than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
and multiple of 9. The quotient now becomes 1371 and the remainder 6 goes on top. The next number which is less than 1371 is 1368. Now the remainder 3 goes on top and the quotient 152 goes on the right. Let's go further. 144 is the next biggest number. So the quotient becomes 16 and the remainder 8 goes on top. Here on we get the number as 63871. But we write again in the reverse order. So it becomes 17836 on a base of 9 is equal to 12345 in the decimal base. Now let's try converting a number from one base to another. Let's take a big number 10101010101. Total of 11 digits on a base of 2 to a base of 3. How do we do it? We can't directly convert any number from base of 2 to base of 3. We have to convert it into the decimal form. Why? Because we understand the decimal form. So let's try converting into decimal form. 10101010101. So 11 digits in all. But there are only 6 ones. Zeros do not have values. So 2 to the power 0 will be concerned. 2 to the power 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So these will be the numbers. If we add them, we get the number 1365. Now this is the decimal number. We have to convert this number into a base of 3. Let's apply what we just learnt. So 1365 becomes the dividend, 3 becomes the divisor. Let's divide it. The biggest number is again 1365 is divisible by 3. So there is no remainder but the quotient becomes 455. Let's divide it further. 453 becomes the next possible number. So dividend is 151 now and the remainder is 2. So going forward, we find the number 0, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So that is the reverse order. Let's put it in the proper order. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0 on a base of 3. This is equivalent to the 11 digit number in the base of 2. Please understand one thing. On a base which is smaller, the number becomes bigger. On a base which is bigger, the number becomes smaller. So a 4 digit number in a decimal form is an 11 digit number in a 2 or a binary form and is a 6 digit number or a 7 digit number in a 3 base. So that is how the base changes and the number of digits increase to represent the same quantity. Having understood the base system, it will be easier for us now onwards to convert a number from one base to the other very easily.